photos and Facebook messages. Hello, everyone. I'm Mike Finkel. I'm the artistic director of the Dallas Jazz Piano Society. Thank you for joining us live. We also have a few people that are streaming, and then we'll be watching this on the archive. This is our last show of 2021, and we do want to thank everyone. This is the biggest crowd we've had in quite a while. It's been small, which is kind of expected. Yeah. But we want to thank everyone that's been supporting us live and online and on the YouTube channel this year. It's really been great. We were maybe the only arts organization that was able to continue some sort of activity every month for the past two years. And in several months, we had a concert series. We had a Monday night talk show. So we tried to keep things going as much as normal as possible. This is going to be a great show with Bill and Peggy Lor. Hey, Bill, I'm going to need actually the piano in a second. No. I know. I'm sorry. I'll send the checks in the mail for the cut of the time. <laughs> um, but to the streaming for our entire season is sponsored by the John and Bonnie Strauss Foundation that covers... Ken Boom of Second Floor Audio Video Streaming. And then this incredible hall and this piano that cost as much as my house is provided by Scott White and of Kauai Piano Gallery of Plano. And they have pianos of all different levels and types uh, if you're ever interested or have friends that are interested. Tonight's show is sponsored by a young man in the back of the crowd, Paul Wilson, which covers the cost of the musicians for this evening. <laughs> Let me take about 20 minutes and read their bios because they've done so much stuff. Peggy Lauren Lore has enjoyed, this is the first time I'm reading a bio from a Facebook message, it's kind of strange. Peggy has enjoyed an impressive vocal career including film, theater, television commercials, cruise lines, nightclubs, and prestigious events such as the Governor's Ball for the Academy Awards. Peggy's worked with noted lyricists and composers, including Marilyn and Alan Bergman, who I hear may be watching tonight, Dave Grusin, Johnny Mandel, John Barry, one of my all-time favorites, Michelle Legrand, and Lalo Schifrin. Does anybody know Lalo Schifrin? What's his best known piece? Oh, I, I was going to say Mission Impossible. They're both up there. <laughs> he did, did he do Mannix? Wow. Yeah, he may have. She has also performed with, we didn't know there was going to be trivia tonight. I wasn't really ready for that. She's performed with Les Brown and his band of renown. Then she had a second career as a teacher where she was awarded Teacher of the Year on her campus, but is now retired and working on publishing her Hollywood memoir, which I've heard some of these stories. It's going to be really interesting. She also reviews the movies and shows they watch after midnight every night if you follow her on Facebook, which is interesting reviews of those. Bill Lohr is an accomplished pianist. He's traveled the world as an accompanist for noted singers such as Al Jarreau and Carmen McRae. Most notably, for a long time, he was the pianist for Lou Rawls. Bill currently plays in the DFW area and teaches harmony and improvisation privately. In 2017, he was the Salmon's Jazz Artist of the Year, and some of you may have been there for that. His book, Bass Motion, Chord Substitution, and Improvisation, is available through Jamie Abertzold's site, Jazz Books, where you can also find about 50 books by Dan Hurley, who's in the back of the crowd, too. Still, those books are in wide use. 
So this is going to be a great show. How many of you have heard Bill and Peggy before? I know this front row has. Good, quite a few people. They have a really nice program tonight. So before they start, I was thanking everyone at the beginning. Dallas Jazz Piano Society likes everyone that's here live tonight. Everyone, I can't see how many are online. And all of you in the future that are watching this is the streaming archive. Dallas Jazz Piano Society loves some of the people here. And there's about two or three that we maybe silently just go along with and tolerate for a while. But despite your status, whatever it may be, we want all of you to be safe this holiday season, whichever holiday is that um, you're going to be celebrating. There's several here. So let me step up to the piano for a sec. It went down. Santa's wanted for breaking and entering in every country <laughs> on the planet. And also, those magic bags that transport billions of toys into the houses, they weren't going out too. He's amassed just a staggering collection of art and wine on the way out. But that's not the problem we're here to discuss tonight. What I want you to know is and people come and ask me this all the time. In fact, Ken did just last month. He said, Mike, how do I know on Christmas Eve or any time during December if it's Darth Vader coming down my chimney and not Santa? Because I want to keep my family safe, and we want to keep your family safe too. So what I'm going to demonstrate tonight is what you'll hear if it's Darth Vader coming down your chimney. Now this works for all of the Darths. Darth Vader, Darth Maul, the less terrifying Darth Brooks also. <laughs> so this, if you hear this, you'll know that it's one of the Darths coming down your chimney on Christmas Eve or any of the other December days. Well, sound something like this. Saber. You can't keep up with any of the darts, even Darth Brooks. Don't grab your Ginzu knife. That's not going to work. The only no way to get any of the darts to exit your house is search on YouTube. Look up a thing called the Star Wars Holiday Special. Keep this paused on every device. If you hear that song, start the holiday, Star Wars Holiday Special, it will scare anyone who was involved with that. They'll immediately leave your house. So remember this to help keep your family safe. Let's get to some music now.
Dresses with blue satin sashes, snowflakes that stay on my nose and eyelashes, silver white winters that melt into spring. These are a few of my favorite things. When the dawn bites, when the bee stings, when I'm feeling sad. I simply remember my favorite things Then I don't feel so Thank you so much. Happy holidays to all of you, and thank you for joining us tonight as we celebrate songs from musicals and songs from movies and songs of, that came from musicals into movies. And a lot of our favorite composers will uh, be celebrating as well, and lyricists like Marilyn and Alan Bergman and Jerome Kern. We have a lot of songs, uh, probably by a lot of people you love as well. Johnny Mandel, Johnny Mercer, uh, we try to cover as many as we could fit into an hour and a half. I want to also celebrate this amazing band that I am privileged to get to work with tonight. And uh, we have Steve Barnes on the drums. <laughs> Lyles West on the bass. <laughs> and my husband, Bill Lohr, on the piano. So many of these songs won awards. They won, they were either up for an award or they won Tonys and Oscars and even top 10 hits along the way. We all used to listen to these songs on the radio or we'd hear them on TV shows or we'd see the musicals. But these were the songs of our life and we were lucky to grow up and hear them and be influenced by them. So we hope you hear some good memories for yourself tonight as well. Uh, the great thing that I like tonight is I don't have to do every song singing because I want to hear the band too. So the next song that we're going to do is going to feature the band. Uh, this is a beautiful song called Spring Is Here. And it is from a, from a show called I Married an Angel. I remember seeing the movie of this version with Jeanette McDonald and Nelson Eddy. And... Uh, Though I'm not going to sing it, it's a very sad song most of the time when you sing it. Um, it was written by Richard Rogers and Lorenz Hart, and uh, I'll feature the band on this. <laughs> Bye. 
Here's a little bit of cold quarter for you. Night and day, you are the one. Only you beneath the moon and under the sun. Whether near to me or far, it's no matter, darling, where you are, I think of you. Night and day, day and night, why is it so that this longing for you follows wherever I go? In the roaring traffic boom or the silence of my lonely room, I think of you. Thank you very much. I think the first time I heard that song was in the 1960s when uh, Sergio Mendez did it. But that song goes way back to the 1930s. Around 1932, the musical came out, a Cole Porter's musical that had that song in it. And I like to tell little funny stories that I've read along the way about songs. Uh, that one in particular had a, a good one. Um, Frank Sinatra supposedly was a waiter, a singing waiter 
at a restaurant in New Jersey. And who should walk in but Cole Porter? And so he went over and was going to do the singing waiter thing <laughs> for Cole Porter with Cole Porter's new big hit, Night and Day, and he forgot the lyrics. <laughs> I also heard that Cole Porter took it to his friend. I don't know if you've heard of this great actor, Monty Woolley. And I have to get the quote right to read. But Monty Woolley supposedly listened to Night and Day, and he said, I don't know what this is you are trying to do, but whatever it is, throw it away. It's terrible. <laughs> I love that. So uh, the next song I'm going to do is also from the 1960s. It actually came out, and it won an Oscar in 1965 for, um, for in a movie called The Sandpiper that starred uh, the sometimes married and sometimes not married Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton. And uh, it's really one of my favorite movies and definitely one of my favorite songs. And I had the great luck of working with Johnny Mandel, so did Bill. So I got to tell him that in person, that how much I love this song that came from that movie. Um, just probably one of the most romantic songs ever written. But the great story that came from this one was that um, Johnny Mandel wrote the music and the lyrics were written by Paul Francis Webster. And we're going to do some Johnny Mercer songs a little bit later in the set. But supposedly Johnny Mercer, a, a, an amazing lyricist, also wrote some lyrics for this song, but they didn't choose his lyrics. So supposedly if you went to his house back when, uh, right by the piano, his piano, he had a framed picture of his lyrics that he had written for The Shadow of Your Smile that didn't get chosen. And over that supposedly was a saying that says, you can't win them all. The shadow of your smile When you are gone Will color all my dreams And light the dawn Look into my eyes, my love, and see all the lovely things you are to me. A wistful little star was far too high. A teardrop kissed your lips, and so did I.
A wistful little star was far too high. A teardrop kissed your lips, and so did. love can bring I will be remembering the shadow of your smile Thank you very much. Even I need a break from that one. Boy, that took me to another place. So beautiful what I'm hearing behind me. So here's the guys. We're going to feature them on two or three great songs right now. A couple of, jo of Jerome Kern songs, actually. Enjoy.
That was a song called Long Ago and Far Away by Jerome Kern. It came from a film called Cover Girl that starred Rita Hayworth and Gene Kelly. And uh, it was nominated for an Oscar that, that year in 1944, but Swinging on a Star beat it. Remember that one by Bean Crosby? Uh, this is another Jerome Kern song called Yesterdays. Uh, it was from a musical called Roberta, made into a film, and uh, Irene Dunn was in that. Also in that film was a little song called Smoke Gets in Your Eyes. Here's a beautiful Jerome Kern song, Yesterdays.
We have a couple of Disney songs that we're doing tonight. So uh, this is the first one. This is uh, Alice in Wonderland from Alice in Wonderland. Came out in 1951. This is a Sammy Fain song. I still have my Alice in Wonderland watch at home. True story.
This next song is from the movie Laura and um, had a great story of a strange kind of love where this guy falls in love with a picture. And uh, the story goes is that Otto Priminger was directing it. And actually, he first wanted to have the Gershwin song Summertime in this movie, but he couldn't get the rights to it. So then he changed his mind. He wanted the Ellington song, uh, Sophisticated Lady. But the composer in the movie, David Raxson, said that that won't work. So David Raxson worked on his beautiful theme song to Laura. And supposedly, uh, it is such a hauntingly beautiful and sad song, um, possibly because David Raxson's wife walked out on him the day he wrote this song. They say he could have been inspired by that. Um, but anyway, I, I've always loved this song. The words are by Johnny Mercer. And supposedly Johnny Mercer hadn't even seen the movie when he wrote the words. They gave him the synopsis of it. The song had already become an instrumental hit on the radios and in the record stores. And he heard this beautiful song and he wrote these really incredible words that fit just right to what the movie was about. Footsteps that you hear down a hall The laugh that floats on a summer night That you can never Recall, and you see Laura on a train that is passing through.
Thank you so much. I have my friend Laura here too. This is a great song from a musical called, uh, what is this music? House of Flowers. It was, uh, came out in the 1950s and the music was written by Harold Arlen and the words were written by Truman Capote. And the story for them goes that Truman was in Rome at the time and Harold Arlen, who of course wrote Somewhere Over the Rainbow, amongst many other great songs, he was in California at the time. So the way they wrote these is Arlen would send phonographs across the uh, oceans to Capote and Capote would mail his lyrics to Arlen and that's how they wrote this musical. Isn't that crazy? And this great song came out of it. And I love the story that this song has. The song's theme derives from an island folk legend. It says, a girl who holds a bee in her hand while it is sleeping will find her true love if the bee does not waken and sting her. Here's a sleeping bee. Lying sleeping in the palm of your hand, you're bewitched and deep in love's on the death of land, where you'll see a sun up sky with a morning dew, and where the days go laughing by as love comes calling on you. the taken I'm so happy at last maybe I dreams but he seems sweet golden as a crown a sleeping bee done to me I walked with my feet off the ground when my one true love I found when I Thank you. 
song is The Love Theme from Spartacus, written by Alex North for a 1960 movie starring Kirk Douglas. That's why I don't do impersonations, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> uh, probably a great jazz version of it was Youssef Latif, but Bill Evans did a beautiful version of this, as did Herbie Hancock. This is The Love Theme from Spartacus. Thank you. 
next song is a song called Golden Earrings, a feature in the band. This is from a 1947 movie that starred Marlena Dietrich. She was a gypsy. That's where the golden earrings thing comes from, I think. I've never seen this movie. But uh, Victor Young wrote this. Ten years after he wrote this song, he won an Oscar for writing Around the World in 80 Days. Remember that song? Anyway, here's beautiful golden earrings.
1981, I moved to Los Angeles, and I started singing at a jazz club there called The Money Tree. The bass player was Eugene Wright, the famous Brubeck um, quartet, and quintet, or the trio. Anyway, it was Eugene Wright, and uh, it was a lot of fun. I used to sing there a whole bunch, and I met all kind of incredible people that were studio people, and one of the people one of the peoples, the persons that I met, was a lady named Patty, and she was a contractor for music at Warner Brothers. But we just hit it off as friends, and she became like family to me, and Bill and I were actually married at her house many years after that. But at the time that I met her in 1981, she liked my voice, and she said, you know what, I need to introduce you to my boss at Warner Brothers, because he might can get you some studio work, and his name is Danny Gould. So I go to Warner Brothers one day, and I sing for Danny, and he says, oh, I think my friends will like you. And I said, oh, great. Like, who are your friends? And he said, Marilyn and Alan Bergman. And I was like, what? Because <laughs> I was probably their biggest fan. I knew their music from back when they had a couple of songs, two or three songs on the Sergio Mendez albums, So Many Stars and Pretty World and Like a Lover. And I knew their songs from movies like Windmills of Your Mind and I knew this song that I'm getting ready to do for you. Um, but so the first session I had for the Bergmans in 1981 was a, a duet session, and my duet partner was Bruce Hornsby. Y'all heard him. And uh, we did a beautiful song for them that they wrote with Michelle Legrand called How Do You Keep the Music Playing. Um, this song is also by Michelle Legrand with the Bergmans. And um, I still keep in touch with them. And I even told them that we were doing this show tonight, so I sure hope they're watching. And also their secretary that helps them with everything, Pat, who I keep in touch with as well. Um, I always say to them that they're the fourth best thing that ever happened to me. Mary and Bill was the first. Having our sons, Will and Jamie, were the second and third. And then meeting the Bergmans and getting to work for them was the fourth. And I tell them that every year how important that was to me in my life. Speaking of life, this is one of my favorite songs of theirs. What are you doing? North and south and east and west of your mind. I have only one request of your mind that you spend it all with me. All the seasons and the times of your days, all the nickels and the dimes of your days. Let the reasons and the rhymes of your days all begin.
Here's a song that came off uh, the first album I ever did. Uh, it was for a cruise line. And um, if you can find it on the web, because it is for sale, it is classified under oddball lounge funk. I guess that's what I am. Lately, I find myself out gazing at stars. I'm hearing guitars like someone in love. Sometimes the things I do astound me. Mostly whenever you're around. Lately, I seem to walk as though I had wings. I bump into things like someone in love. Each time I look at you, I'm limp as a glove. And I'm feeling like someone in love. Thank you very much. Gosh, I, I can't believe that this time went by so fast. We're gonna, I, mean, I know we have time for one more. Uh, once again, please put your hands together for, how lucky am I to get to be here with these three guys tonight? Steve Barnes on the drums. <laughs> Lyles West on the bass. And my one and only love, Bill Laura on the piano. We're going to end with a song that I absolutely love. It's from Peter Pan. And uh, in the original broadcast of it, actually not on TV, but the Broadway version of it, pre-Broadway, they were having some problems. And so the director went out and asked Jules Stein and asked uh, Betty Comden and Adolf Green to please write some more songs for it. And luckily that happened because this is my favorite song, not just in this uh, musical, but uh, just one of my favorite songs ever. I love the sentiment of it. Basically it says, think happy and you will be happy. Just have an 
Treasure if you stay there. More precious far than gold. For once you have found your way there. You can never, never. So come with me where dreams are born and time is never planned. Just think of lovely things and your heart will fly on wings forever. Thank you, Dallas Jazz Piano Society. Mike, thank you so much. Ken, thank you guys so much. And all of you, thank you. Happy holidays to you. Thanks again to everyone for coming out. It was such a great crowd. It's nice to see a lot of people in one room watching. Thanks again to Peggy, Bill, Lyles, and Steve. We will be back here. The next two shows are actually going to be on third Thursdays. We had to do a little rescheduling. January 20th will be our Women of Song show. This time we're featuring Jeannie Perkins and Jenny Mack. So I hope you can join us in person or online for that. And then at the beginning, I talked about the sponsors for the musicians, the sponsors for the streaming, Kauai Piano Gallery for this hall. What I did not talk about was our foundation, Keys for Kids. And if you go to our YouTube channel, we just added a wonderful video that Judy forwarded to me about the Keys for Kids program. All of your donations that you give tonight go to the Keys for Kids program. And we're currently providing education and instruments for 14 young musicians in West Dallas who would not have this available. We also are continuing with our first James Calloway Jazz Scholar uh, who hopefully will be joining us in April for our Rising Star show, which will have Steve Barnes on drums for Rising Stars and then Piano Madness in May. So if anyone didn't donate on the way in, Judy is in the back and she can help you do a donation and that all goes to the Keys for Kids. Thanks for joining us and we hope to see you again soon in 2022.